So, um, can you explain to us what you have been feeling over the last you know, few days watching on the events currently taking place in Palestine and the destruction and mayhem taking place there? I feel horror um, and, and physical sickness, to be honest. I've been uneasy about the reports I've been hearing um, from Palestine. Uh, the sort of untrammeled barbarism that's coming out of the Israelis is uh, beyond anything we've heard before. Uh, and it sickens me to the core that my elected officials, the British politicians, are not speaking out clearly for humanitarian values and international law, something we hear a great deal about when it's convenient for them. So those are my overall feelings of the current situation. Fantastic. And what do you feel about those who say that things such as protests serve no real end product, in the sense that they're going to do as they want, they sit, the powers that be will do what they want, and even they're looking down at us giggling, you're, you know, you're worthless, you don't have any value, you can, we allow you to do what what we um, will allow you to do. But anything beyond that, you know, we'll give you, you know, they, we'll put you they straight. May do, they may still continue on their barbarous ways, but they, they cannot say they have not been called out on their actions. Excellent. We have, we will bear witness to what's going on. Very good. And no one thereafter will say, well, nobody did anything, nobody said anything. Fantastic. But we're saying something and we're saying something now. Fantastic. These are all fundamental points for our audience to observe as our friend here, Scotsman, passionately coming out, looking at defending the rights. It's simply as a human being he's looking out. So we should be extremely grateful to these people who've come out, given their time, given their energy, rather than people who are quite prone to criticising these people, even amongst Muslim communities. And this is very sad to see. So for me, I will give you a salute. And I hope that, you know, Allah, we believe we are strong, strong Muslims, but we still believe that may our Creator guide you as well into accepting our Creator. I haven't really asked you about your beliefs. I don't want to, you know, relentlessly ask these questions. But um, yeah, so these are fantastic points to say that we're all human beings and that we feel the pain of these people and that as Muslims, we should be, um, you know, inculcating um, um, and bringing to the indigenous masses because the people don't know what's going on. Our good friend here is well informed. But if we don't know what's, if the, if the indigenous masses don't know what's going on, then how are we really going to make a change? It's only when this happens. But now there is a, perhaps a slight notion, would you accept, that with Suella Bra Braverman in particular, um, trying to stop these protests taking place, um, that, um, you know, so something has irked the system in place to show well, no, these things they, can have an effect. Yes, I mean, they're not, they're not, they're not unchallenged. They're not able to just write roughshod and say there is no opposition. There is opposition, and you'll see it on the streets today, and you'll see it on social media and in other places. So uh, there is considerable pushback against this inhuman narrative of uh, Braverman and the other, yeah. who, frankly, are all, I consider them all now, war criminals. Yeah. We are ruled over by a gang of war criminals. And the sooner people realise that and take action in how they vote and being politically active, the better for all of us. Fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. And like I said, the way forward is to bring to everyone's attention these discrepancies, these hypocrisies, these, um, you know, the way the system is. It stinks to high heaven and it needs to change for the sake of hum humanity as well and decency. So um, I really appreciate your time and your sentiments. And you know, we believe may, may our creator guide you. Thank You're you so welcome. much. Delighted to speak to you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. So now a very pleasant conversation with our Scots friend who's taken his time to do something to acknowledge people's cause. So may Allah guide him, inshallah, make dua for him. This is a, a very well attended meeting. Um, and uh, may, yeah, may Allah guide everyone over here as well and give them the strength within the conviction to say if something is wrong, it's wrong by the decree of our creator as well. So we have to all come together as humans, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Good afternoon to you, madam. Am I able to bring you out of this for one moment? 
to appear on our channel to express how you, in solidarity with this march, how you're feeling about the events that have occurred and why you feel it's so important that we all come together to try to make the world's attention palatable that what is happening there is unacceptable. What would you say? International laws, yeah, and international yeah. International laws, like yeah. what is happening is devastating. My heart is crying out for the, all the innocent people in Palestine oh, who are suffering right now. They've been cut off from any human rights, water, food, electricity, um, any sort of medical aid. And yeah, it's really distressing, it's really upsetting. And I hope, you know, our government, English government, America are going to wake up and are going to tell Israel to stop this uh, genocide, basically. And I could not have expressed that better myself. Really, thank you. You can please carry on with your talk. Thank you so much. Very pleasant comment from this very nice lady who has an apathy. She's got up. She's come to it when she could be doing so many other things and just making people aware that this is unacceptable what is happening. So the governments need to wake up. They need to wake up. Good afternoon to you, madam. May I take you out of the for one moment so you can appear just so that we want to ask Oh, you lost your voice. Oh, bless you. The last few weeks have affected you, that you've brought you to come out to the public attention, the events that are happening in Palestine. What do you yeah. feel? I mean, how, how, how do you express your sentiments? Obviously, it's like atrocious what's been going on. Oh. Um, just seriously angry that not a single person in the British government are standing up against how Palestinians are being treated and how they're locked in. It's devastating. Devastating. And what about, how do you feel about the warships gone off to, um, I mean, to Israel currently, to, to supposedly defend um, Israeli positions? I think all the rhetoric around here and all the support is horrendous. And no one's talking about the reality of the situation. And it's horrific. That's why. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Very strong comments. People are very much angry. People are upset. People are criticizing the governments for not doing enough to stop this and looking at the reality, the brutal reality of the siege of the Palestinians, you see. The whole narrative is of oppression of the, of, 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 um, the Israelis. And no one condones any type of harm on any innocent individual, whether they are Israeli or Palestinian. But the level of hypocrisy being here is definitively mind-blowing. That the suffering of those innocent children in particular, women, elderly, you know, it's just beyond belief, and people are really fuming. So, I mean, I'm of the personal belief, this, these, these protests need to be relentless, day in, day out, week in, week out, month in, month out. Only then, perhaps, the governments will look. YouTube channel, which is like an Islamic channel, if you just want to express perhaps how you're feeling attending this march, what's compelled you to come out, any, any yeah. comments you would like to make? Well, I guess I've come because I've seen the news this week and everything that's happening in Gaza, which is obviously terrible, and to show us some of the Fantastic. And what message would you like to give to our governments? Stop arming Israel and stop giving your tacit support to the Israeli army by giving blanket justifications for what's going on in Gaza. And what would you say if they don't listen? What can we do, eh? That's bit, we're worthless. In fact, we as humans are worthless if you don't even want to listen to us. That's what it is. But let us hope your attendance here makes an effect. Thank you so much for your time. Excellent. So for our Palestinian brothers and sisters, just to let them know you're not, you're not alone. People do care. It's just a system in place doesn't want your, your happiness, doesn't want your contentment. They want to subdue you. And that's a brutal fact. So it's a merciless world. And the people at the top are the merciless ones. That's a given. Everybody knows this. friend over here as to why you feel it was incumbent upon you to come out this Saturday afternoon to march against the war crimes committed being committed. Well, absolutely. I mean, I've, I've been 
campaign for Palestine for many, many years, for about 30 or 40 years, you know. And this is, in some ways, this is the culmination of it, isn't it? You know, they're really going for it now. They're going to try and kill as many as they can. And it's absolutely obligatory that we get as many, you know, a huge movement. We need a huge movement. Absolutely. So that's why I'm here, basically. We're Fantastic. I think the pressure is being felt somewhat. That is why people like Suella Braverman are trying to cut off protests. Well, I think she hasn't got a hope unless she wants to cause you know, a military crackdown or something. But this is just provoking more people to come out because it's outrageous. Fantastic. Very poignant points, and we appreciate you coming. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Take care, yourselves. So, people are understanding that more and more people are coming out, you see. It, it's, it can't be just the usual demonstrators. It needs to become widespread. People need to go in their communities and speak about these things. It cannot simply be an individual or two who attends and brings these things to people's attention. It needs to be relentless. We need to have protest upon protest, week upon week, month upon month, day upon day. I've got that big surround. But anyway, that's what we need. If I was to say to you, perhaps, the term Lord is ubiquitous title given to many individuals. I'm totally, you know, I'm totally PhD in philosophy, I'm totally into earth religions and earth goddess and everything, so I'm not traditional. I'm just going to keep walking. Indeed, thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Take care. Alhamdulillah, we can see over here in Oxford Circus, in the heart of London, that people are coming out in their droves to protest against the evil acts that have been committed um, against the innocent Palestinian people who are dying and who are being killed in their multitudes. Um, people are very keen of all different walks of life to really represent and express their feelings and make our leaders aware as well that this is not acceptable. You can carry on bringing your ships off to um, uh, the Red Sea or wherever you're taking them. Point is, people are not happy with that. We, indiscriminate killing of those innocent people, you've got to have a heart for Pete's sake. You, people go on and on about humanitarian, humanitarianism, but where is the humanitarianism here? So where is the humanitarianism here? The humanitarianism here is essentially that there is no humanity until we say so. People here generally do not agree with this. This is very, very clear. You can see so different nationalities, different uh, walks of life coming forward to express their, um, you know, their, their frustration, their, uh, their upset, their disregard for you know, the acts of such people. So we need to make our leaders aware that you can't just simply sh put ships off to bomb those innocent people um, and whilst um, you're going to protect the state of Israel on, under all pretexts and illegally occupy, occupy people's lands for Pete's sake. If anyone goes in your house for five seconds and says I'm taking over, you're going to give him the what for. So we need to be able to have good values. So if, if, if the Western governments truly want a peaceful coexistence with everyone, then they have to indeed themselves inculcate these matters and make things fair as possible.